Let's ask the user to input lengths of three sides of the triangle and we shall check using C program if it forms a valid triangle or not. The logic is if the sum of two sides is greater than the largest of the three sides then it's a valid triangle. If not, it's not. It's not a valid triangle. Please follow the link present on your computer screen right now for source code and logic explanation. We will be taking the same source code and will be adding area, perimeter and semi-perimeter calculation into it. So for example, if we have a triangle with sides A, B and C and A is the largest side, then B plus C must always be greater than A. So that forms a valid triangle. If not, it's not a valid triangle. I mean, it doesn't form a triangle, by the way. So perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Uh, Semi-perimeter is perimeter divided by 2 or else semi-perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 2. So formula for calculating area of a triangle is shown on your computer screen. So this is the source code from our previous day tutorial, link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. If A is great, then the other side B plus C must be greater than A. If B is great, then the other sides B plus C must be greater than B. So if it's a valid triangle, then here, here I'll calculate perimeter, semi-perimeter and area of the triangle. So I'll take P as perimeter and SP as semi-perimeter. I haven't declared these three variables. So semi-perimeter is perimeter divided by 2.0. Remember to write 2.0 and not 2 because division by 2 will give integer value and discard the decimal places. So make sure to give 2.0 there. So perimeter is A plus B plus C that is sides sum of sides of the triangle so area is equal to square root of semi perimeter into semi perimeter minus a into semi perimeter minus b into semi perimeter minus c remember to explicitly mention the arithmetic operation that is multiplication here if not mentioned it won't work so since we have sqrt that is square root we must include math.h library okay so i'll first print out the result onto the console window perimeter then i'll need to display semi perimeter and the area of triangle so if if the user inputs some random numbers and it, it can't form a triangle, it will just say invalid triangle. So let me include math.h header file. Let us compile and I'll give 10, 5 and 3. So the largest side has 10 as length. The other side is 5 and 3. 5 plus 3 is 8 which is not greater than 10. So it is invalid triangle. So now I'll give 10, 15 and 6. Largest side is 15. So other two are 10 and 6. 10 plus 6 is 16 which is greater than 15. So it is valid triangle. So perimeter, semi-perimeter and area of triangle has been displayed. Please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, explanation and notes of this topic. Stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.